Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. It is not in the morning. Nope, we're driving around in the evening because it stopped raining. Let's see if we can find some stuff on the curb. Behold, what do we see? Stuff on the curb. I'll bet that is zinc. That's my guess. Zinc oftentimes seems like aluminum, but it's much heavier. Some metal-ish. Yeah, it does. Um, is it being held up? <laughs> hmm. No idea what that is. Is it a washer? I might be able to handle a washing machine. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can. Hope it's not full of water. That's the issue. Full of water. Yep, you are. Mm. How are you? Gotta get out. Can you hear it? It's not coming out. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's about enough. Whew. Yeah, that's a bit uh, odiferous. Works as well as any. It's catching on the curve right there. All right. Now, should work. Hi. <laughs> if if the dishwasher is a a metal one, I can take it. If it's yeah, it's mostly plastic. I can see it from the side. So my scrapyard won't accept it. Okay. Yeah. If you do put it out to the curb, there's some people that like to take them for the motors and the other parts to them. So I would recommend because garbage day is tomorrow, bring it out to the curb. I'll bet it'll disappear by morning. Okay. Yep. Good luck. Funny how you get stronger when there's a girl watching. If I recycle your metal there, sure. thank you. How you doing tonight? I know that there's too much else to there. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Dude, that is an entire patio set right there. Because I'm evening scrapping, I can't take it right to the scrap here. So I'm kind of stuck. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like they got repainted once. Hmm. This glass, though, bro. The glass. It was top heavy. I think I'm gonna put it in there. <laughs> or not. Oh, this glass, I'm not really happy about that. Nope, garbage man can take it. Yep. And with this being repainted like this, this is junk. All right, 
hopefully it stays in one piece. Yeah, a lot of this is zinc. Obviously that's steel and this might, this might even be brass. But majority of that is zinc. Wow, I need to wrap it around. Yes, that's so I can remember to grab it. to anticipate a lot of scrap. Really? Kind of stuck in the plastic. That's a bed liner. Yeah, that's a lot better. A lot better. <laughs> Sweet. Nine drop rule. Oh no, another scrapper got him. That is awesome. I, I totally saw this driving in here. <laughs> yeah, he's not wanting to wave back. And that's okay. But check this out. So I was pulled over, not, not pulled over like by the cops. I was putting uh, the rope on my scrap and this worker came up and said, hey man, I got some uh, some old guard rails um, for you if you would like. And uh, here, let me show them to you real quick. Yeah, let's just randomly park. So uh, yeah, put these guard rails in the back of the truck. So yeah, I could barely lift this thing. It's nine, it's nine feet long. He's like, I got a nine footer for you. Like, I'm supposed to know the lingo. But yeah, there's three of them. A couple short ones. This one's like, oh, like it got hit. It's all wrapped up. Yeah, it definitely got hit. That's some thick stuff. Yeah, just uh, I was putting the rope on and it pulls up. Dink, dink, dink. Beyond cool. All right, let's drive past this scrap man again. And say, what's up, buddy? He'll be like, you keep on driving there. <laughs> I'll be like, all right. You got him, though. Another scrapper. Could be. Let's get him. Sun is going down quickly. So my decision to make is do I go back to my house and take all the scrap off of the truck and then start fresh in the morning and then turn, in this, turn in this scrap in at some point throughout the week or maybe even tomorrow uh, or Saturday, who knows? Or should I leave it on the truck but not have an early start? Because I like to I like scrapping before the scrapyard opens. So I don't know. I might uh, just drive around a little bit. Here's the problem. Let's say I find uh, some other big items. You know, I really won't have the room for it. But if I dump everything at my house, I will have room in the truck. That's why I like having a clean truck when I start scrapping. 
all the time. It's like, whenever I get stuff in the truck, my goal is to get it out of the truck so I can get more stuff into the truck, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's getting dark quick. I don't see very well in the dusk. Check this out. So it's the next morning. The scrapyards are not open yet. And I thought I would go drive through some neighborhoods and uh, pick up some scrap before I go hit the scrapyard. But wow, look at the sun rise with fog. That's so eerie. There's houses like, I don't know, 200 yards right there. You can barely see them. At least I can barely see them. All right, hopefully we can find a couple pieces before we go hit the scrapyard. I think I saw a couple of somethings. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, badminton. Whatever this thing is, look at all them bats. The aluminum. Those are nice bats too. A few basketballs. I have so many. At my house, I don't know, 30 basketballs. <laughs> my son likes to play basketball. Okay, the scrapyard is opening in two minutes. I'm just really enjoying this foggy sunrise. I don't know about you, but that just looks pretty cool. Yep. All right, let's go hit the scrapyard. Wow. Already activity at the scrapyard. And that is so close. All right, so what do we have? 6,700. I don't think anybody's in there because Michael's over there. 6,700! Now, do I dump right here? Or do I dump way over there? Right there. Yeah. Without getting hit. Um, yeah, about right there. Look at the size of that machine. Wow. Where are my gloves? Look at this machine. I think it's all brass. No, it has rust on it. No, that's brass. Okay, maybe it's rust. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, enough messing around. Let's get this stuff off the truck. You don't see that very often. Drum brakes. My Volkswagen Beetle, when I was a teenager, had drum brakes. Pain. <laughs> this is no joke. This thing got smashed. Smashed and bashed. Oh. 
want to keep that zinc. Does having wheels on a table mean that it's old? It means that it's rusted. I do want to keep the zinc. Yeah, I think this whole thing, well, besides that, all right, here we go. This might be zinc as well. What's up, Michael? That, keep that. Keep these guys. That's probably aluminum. And the washer's got to go. Then we'll be done. Everything is so wet from the rain last night and the uh, fog this morning. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. People are hitting the scale already. I like it. This is for realsies recycling. I'm gonna guess 6,260. Maybe 6,300. Cause I got gas not too long ago. And no way, 6,320. All right, so a little under 500 pounds, 480. Good morning. Um, 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 um. Yes, porque lo quería hacer, pero ahorita deja ver cómo me acomodo, ¿no? Ahora pues ahí estamos. Ahorita nos, ahorita nos acomodamos. Thank you, sir. Para ver. I'll see you, man. All right. Okay, I got 50 cents and $47. That's some lunch money right there, boy. That's right, that's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for last night. Thank you for the, the scraps. Lord, thank you for recycling. Thank you for recycling us. Hmm. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for just being our God. In the name of the Son that you sent for us, Jesus. Amen. Not sure if I'm going to donate these bats or if I'm going to give them to my kids. Insulated wire. Oh, got a mess going. Those might get those are nice bats. Those are very nice. All right, let's get that zinc and then finish the route. I think that's aluminum. Let's get 
give it a quick test. Oh, sorry, the fan's gonna go. Oh. No, that's brass. That is brass, big time. All right, very yellow. This is gonna be white because it's a zinc. No, that's yellow too. That is big time. All right, that's a couple of pounds. See how yellow that is? I, I thought that was zinc. Oh my goodness. Brass, big time. Is any of this magnetic? Nothing. Really? You say this whole thing's brass. Totally yellow. Totally yellow. Totally yellow. Wow. I had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> That's a good find. Seriously, how... All right, I'm gonna break out my scale just to find how much you weigh. I know there's a steel piece in it, but we'll see. I know I'm wasting a little bit of time because the garbage man is out to get in my scrap. Yeah, let's not have the fan going. It was the fan I turned off. Hey, don't be weighing anything yet. All right, how do we zero this thing out? Oh. Okay. Just this, I know this is 100% brass. So that's seven ounces. I gotta take that steel out somehow. Yeah, two pounds, 14 ounces, minus the steel, which I don't know. So brass is over a dollar a pound. Yeah. Let's put this whole thing on there. Yeah, that's five pounds, minus just that little piece there. So that's five bucks. Oh, and this. pounds I picked up one of these about a month ago it was a base to a singer sewing machine yep is the sewing machine in there no it might not even be a singer but I know it's old yep Super old. Huh. Yep, yeah, definitely not singer. Interesting. So the garbage man's gonna be here any moment because it's like it's past eight AM. And garbage day morning. Not sure what that is. Huh. I think there's even yeah, that's a little belt driven. Wait, that's a cord. Is it really in there? Well, I'm gonna take it anyway, I might as well load it up. Hinges. Nope. Maybe that's just the belt that goes with it. Huh. That is ancient. And moderately heavy. But there's wheels on it. steel wheels <laughs> stretch 
Hopefully I don't damage it, but it's the only way I can see to load it. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop this sewing machine base off at my house and then go hit a Sycamore neighborhood because it's Sycamore's, well, a third of Sycamore's garbage day. And I think waste management starts a little bit later. Right, I see a dryer. But also the G-Man is right around, oh, five houses down. Hurry up. Hmm. What else we got going on over here? Nah. Just for ease of getting this up the ramp <laughs> up into my truck. Oh, I'll get rid of this. Oh. A lot of people are like, why don't you go on the side? Because it I won't actually be able to get it to grab the lip here. That's actually like two inches, which might not even be enough. It might slip and hit the ground. enough I can pop it up yeah like that you know Paul some kid was still riding that made it to Sycamore yet. <laughs> I'm on the way to Sycamore. Finally made it to Sycamore. Yeah. This sounds kind of crazy, but one of my hoses at my house doesn't have a washer in it. I know I could just go buy one, but I always forget to do that. So I'm hoping this hose, wherever the end is, wherever the other end is, has a washer, and it does. Yay! Thank you. I might need to straighten this up a little bit. That is a mighty fine pallet. Certainly is. 48 by 40 four-way pallet. Standard product pallet. Huh. All right, let's get this straightened up. Lose 
this. Probably should put it over here so it'd be easier to take off the truck. Let's go across first and then I'll secure the pallet. You know, I, I think I, if I'm going to get another ladder rack, I want to get tubing that's round. It's just much easier for different knots like the clove hitch i mean it still works but it works better when it's round because the the friction is even across the entire area not just the corners morning ralph morning Sam. when homeowners are going to be cool enough to leave the scrap on the side definitely feel obligated to do my part and pick it up. Good, good, good. Ooh. Ooh. What do I see? I see a washer and dryer stared at me. People still get by. I think they can. There's plenty of room. Plenty. <laughs> That's a little close. What I wanted was, because you know the center of a street is higher than the edges for water to trickle to the gutters to go. So I want my front higher this back will be lower to get you know just gaining a couple of inches just means the world when um i'm scrapping yes it does and it looks like both of these will be fairly flat on the back having this higher part much water is in it. Hopefully I don't get too splattered. Get my back out just a little bit. There we go. Oh, it doesn't come apart. It feels like it's coming apart a little bit. Should I do my ramp? Maybe. Let's try it anyway. <laughs> I ripped something right off. All right, 
right, let's get you situated. as much as I can. Hey, sun's coming out. I like that. Hmm. Oh, that didn't work. That did though. All right, dryer. Don't give me a hassle. Perfect. And yes, I'm constantly swapping out my gloves because they keep getting wet. It was raining all night. steel not exactly sure oh yeah g-man said something though sorry <laughs> yep so that's steel hmm should i go vertical or not They're going with, going into shred, but they're going with. That's probably it. Still, still, st still some steel. <laughs> into the dryer. Sounds like an old 80s metal song. Into the dryer. I'm scrapping into the dryer. A little bit more. Yes. I'm gonna drop the pallet off first and then weigh. What's up, Michael? What do you got? I just got a pallet for you. Nice, thank you. Yeah, man. Oh, 
look at that. Is that a recumbent? Who knows? Doesn't look like it's in bad shape. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I just had the rope kind of going through the center. Is that my truck beeping? Something's beeping. Oops. My sticky hand stuck to the cobber. <laughs> I think it's lunchtime. It is quiet at the scrapyard. Look at that wall of scrap. Seriously, what is up with that? Want to see something medieval? I saw this yesterday. Hey, hey. Looking down here. Yeah, I've been doing some scrapping. I just didn't film it. Looking down here, it's like just a medieval wall of scrap and rust. Oh, he got it. I'm totally in the way chit-chatting with you. Glad he has skills. I'm gonna guess the exact same weight. So 6,700 pounds like this morning. And 6,760. Holy like. Hey man, you want me to go south side? Yeah, look, so steel's not gonna hit the floor anymore. Okay. Oh, you want it in a bin? Careful. These, these guys aren't emptying them out. Uh, uh, I can throw it in, Well, I got three appliances. Yeah, you so. over there before on the other yard? Uh-uh. Oh, well, I, I've been over there. That's where I got the... Yeah, so if you go in there, I'll right. do a shrimp pile. Okay, I'll do it. All right, man. Cool. Now, this other yard is where they're, they've been keeping the... Um, what do you call it? The bins? Not the bins. There's actually a name for them. Yeah, they keep the cars and yeah these things what are they called words can't do oh no it's muddy this is what i don't want this is what i don't want We not do mud, please. So yeah, the cow iron metal definitely takes cars. Yep, they do. Mud. Not a fan of mud.
That was not good. Head. What's up, Scrappy? Scrappy do? He's looking at me like, what's up, Scrap Man? You better just keep on going. Move it along, Scrappy. All right, that was what, 6,740? If I remember right. Now we are sixty two sixty. something bucks surprise he's doing this on the scale instead of from the other side the other side he'd probably be out in the street so I get it okay I think it's safe to walk now Thank you, sir. You're busy today. Yeah, man. I did some scrap last night and some scrap today. Yeah, I don't think I like the mud side over there, bro. I'm going to fix it. Are you? I'm going to get it. All right. Like, um, Thank you, man. This is a one day thing. All right. He's going to go inside now. I appreciate you. Hopefully All right. You. 60 bones. I like that. So, 480 pounds this time. Unlike my last time when I did my, my math error. $60, 480 pounds, $250 a net ton, which is 12 cents a pound. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna go through a car wash. Yeah. To get this rust water off the truck. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you for the scrap. Thank you for not scrapping me. Well, I should say thank you for salvaging me. Yes, is that scrapping? I don't know. Thanks God for having spiritual clarity, even though sometimes I don't have earthly clarity. Thank you for the rain that's starting. Oh, you're so good, God. In the name of Jesus, amen.